Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, now we are going to uh, solve some uh, problems related to uh, re uh, sending waves. And these problems are selected from old exams in that, we are, that were given in the physics department at KFUPM. Uh, before that, let me review just quickly with you uh, re a resonance in a, in a string. Uh, you see this string here has a length L and it, it is at rest. Once I start sending a wave from this side, this wave will go and it is reflected and you, you at certain frequencies, at certain frequencies, we call them the, re the resonant frequencies, we form standing waves where the amplitude is maximum, you can see here. Huh? Uh, you see here the length is the length here of the string is not changing. What is changing is the wavelength. You can see the wavelength here. In this figure here, the wavelength actually is 2L. And here the wavelength is L. And here the wavelength is 2L over 3. You can see as, as you go from one frequency to the other, as the frequency here is increasing, the wavelength is decreasing because we have V equal lambda F. And V in this case, V is the speed of the wave here in the strings is, is constant. So as the frequency increases, the wavelength is decreasing, uh, as you can see from here, OK? That's one thing. The other thing is I want to uh, draw your attention to this resonant frequency, Fn, which is drawn from here, huh? F1. Uh, the resonant frequency is n v over 2L. V is the speed of the waves, those two waves which are interfering, OK? or making the standing waves. Of course, that, that standing waves actually is not moving, but the two waves are continuously moving with speed v. And n is the length of the string, as you can see. And n is the number of uh, the resonance number, let's say, or the number of segments. Here we have one segment. Here we have two segments, three segments. And every segment has a length of lambda over 2. OK? So I have lambda over 2 here for this segment, another lambda over 2. So l will be lambda, OK? Here lambda over 2, lambda 3, lambda over 2, and L will be two, two L, uh, lambda will be 2 L over 3, and so on. So he is asking, uh, 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 what is the frequency of the third harmonic standing wave? Okay? The third harmonic, this will be the third harmonic. This is the first harmonic or fundamental mode. This is the second harmonic. This is the third harmonic. So he's, uh, he's looking for F3. But you know that Fn, for any... A frequency, Fn is Nv over 2L. The next one, this ne the next highest frequency uh, is N plus 1 V over 2L. If I subtract them, 256 minus 224, I get 32 hertz. And that is equal, if you subtract, you get V over 2L. That's actually F1. So F1 for this problem, for this problem, F1 is, is 32 hertz. And he's looking for what? Which frequency he's looking for? He's looking for the third harmonic, which is N equal 3. So he's looking for F3, which is equal to 3 F1, as we know. Eh? So this will be 96 hertz. And that's the answer for this question. Uh, the, next, the next question I want to uh, look at, let me erase this example number one. We go to example number two now. And uh, let me erase this. Okay. Uh, example number two is the following. Uh, example number two is the following here. Okay. Number two is I have two sinusoidal wave having wavelength of 5 meter and amplitude 10 centimeter, okay? That's the amplitude of these waves, okay? And traveling in opposite direction. You can see here, when, they, when we say traveling in opposite direction, it means they're going to for, give standing waves, but at certain frequencies, of course, not all the time, okay? At certain frequencies of, the, of your source, they, they produce standing waves. On a 20 meter long stretch string, so my, my string has a length of 20 meter, that's my, the length of my, of my string, okay? And excluding the nodes at the end of the string, how many nodes appear in the resulting standing waves, okay? How many nodes? It means that if we see here, for example, in this figure, I have only one node. In this figure here, which was before here, I had uh, 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 two nodes, you see? So he's asking about how many nodes, excluding the ends, okay? Exclude, if I exclude the ends, here I have no, no nodes. Here I have only one node, I exclude the ends, okay? So he wants to exclude the, uh, the ends, okay? The two ends here. So he's looking for the number of nodes for this uh, special case here, okay? So the wavelength is 5 meters. So if I divide the length by lambda, and I know lambda, 
give me one node, okay? So if I divide the length, which is 20 meter, by 5, which is 5 meters, okay, I get 4, okay? 4. So I have 4 wavelengths, 4, uh, four shapes like this, okay? But because this, this, this is one wavelength. So let, let me draw them here. And so I have one of them will be this. This is one. And the second one is this. The third one is this. And the fourth one is this, okay? So let me complete my standing waves picture and see how many nodes. Now I'm going to exclude this one and this one and tell me, my son, how many nodes I have in this figure here. So, uh, by the way, I did not use the amplitude. The amplitude given in the problem, I, 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 I have not used it. I use only the length of the string and the wavelength. And the wavelength, this is one wavelength, okay? So this is 5 meters, another 5 meters at 10, and this is 15, and this is 20. And that's the length of the rope. Let's count how many nodes I have. This is one of them. He said excluding these two. Eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So there are 7 nodes. Okay, let me write down here. 7 nodes in this special case. Eh? Excluding the, the two nodes uh, uh, at the end. That's what he wants. Okay, And how many anti-nodes I have? The number of anti-nodes will be the number of nodes plus one, always like this, okay? Let's count them. I have one here, two, okay, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So there are eight anti-nodes, if he asks about the number of anti-nodes, okay? He did not ask it, uh, but he uh, anti-nodes. If he asks, uh, 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 that's, how, that's how you find it. Now, tell me, which frequency is this? Which Arizona frequency is this? Uh, this is F1, this is, uh, will be F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8. So this is F8, okay? This is the, four, the, the eighth harmonic, okay? F8. This, the case, this figure here corresponds to F8, okay? So this is, because I told you N, the N here is the number of segments you have, okay? If it is F1, you will have only one segment. If it's F2, you have two segments, F3, three segments, and so on, okay? So I have eight segments here, means that that's the frequency, the eight frequency, resonant frequency, which is 8V over 2L. Now, uh, if, we, if, if I was given uh, the velocity, the speed of the wave, in the, of the, the, the waves, I can find this frequency because the L is given to you 20 meter, okay? The next problem is uh, example three. Let's look at example three now. Okay. Example three says a wave of speed 20 meter. When he says a wave of speed 20 meter on a string fixed at both ends, of course, this is not the speed of the, the, the resultant wave is a bit of the two interfering waves, okay? The two uh, waves which are going to form the standing wave, okay? The speed is 20 meters per second because we said the, the wave, the wave, uh, the standing wave actually is not traveling, it is standing, okay? That's why they call it standing wave, okay? Uh, now, uh, the, uh, the standing waves is this here. This is the equation for the standing wave. That's y equal ym sine kx, uh, sorry, 2ym sine ks cosine omega t. This is the equation for this, the resultant wave. That's omega is here, k is unknown, and this is 2ym, okay? That's two times the amplitude of each one of the two waves which are forming these standing waves here, okay? Where x and y are in meter and t is in seconds, generally we always use SI units. What is the distance between two consecutive nodes? You want the distance between two nodes, which means this, for example, this distance here. And I told you, and I'm sure you remember it, that the distance between two nodes is always lambda over two, always, okay? For example, here, I have lambda over two. You see the length is lambda over two. Here, I have lambda over two and lambda over two, I have lambda. So the, the whole length is not, so the distance between so the distance between two nodes. Let me write it down here clearly. The distance between two nodes is always between two nodes is always always uh, very important always always equal to lambda over two. So if I can find lambda from this problem, then I can find uh, the distance between two nodes. Okay, now. Consecutive nodes, yeah, exactly. Uh, distance between two consecutive nodes. Let me let me uh, add here the word consecutive. Eh? Consecutive nodes, okay? Consecutive nodes, 
All right? Nodes, okay? So I have the, the distance between two consecutive, two consecutive nodes, nodes here, okay? The distance between two consecutive nodes is always lambda over two, okay? Now, lambda, of course, lambda is uh, lambda, we know the equation, v equal lambda f, okay? So lambda is v over f, v is given, 20 meter per second, it gave you omega, so you can find the frequency, right? So here, uh, 20 meters, okay, per second, divided by the frequency, which is uh, omega over 2 pi, 30 over 2 pi, okay? So you get this, you get the wavelength uh, in this problem, the wavelength will be uh, 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 4 point 4.2 meters, okay? That's, that's the wavelength in this, in this specific problem, okay? Now, if I divide this by 2 to get the distance between, uh, uh, between two nodes, so my distance between two nodes, this will be 4.2 over 2, which is uh, 2.1 meter. That's the distance between two nodes, okay? All right? The next problem, or next example, example 4. These are, these are pro, this, by the way, these are problems from, the, from old exams. Huh? So you can see how, how, how difficult or how easy are the old exam, pro, uh, I mean, uh, exam problems. You now you, you decide by yourself and, of course, uh, you have to practice a lot. Uh, you don't only rely on this few uh, problems that we solve in front of you here. You have to go by yourself and start solving old exams and start solving end of chapter problems. Very important to, ch to solve end of chapter problems. Example number four. It says a 50 centimeter long string. So this is the length of the string. He gave you the length. And mass 0 0.01 kilogram is stretched between, uh, with a tension of 18 Newton. He gave you the tension, the tension which is uh, in the string itself, okay? Uh, and this is between two fixed supports, which means we have to, you have to, you, there will be extending waves in this case, okay? What is the resonant frequency of the longest wavelength on this string? Okay, my son, can you tell me what, is, what will be the longest, which, which shape here will give you the longest wavelength, which means the, the highest wavelength? Remember that, that lambda here is 2L, and lambda here is L, and lambda here is what? 2L over 3, and so on. So as we move down, the wavelength is decreasing. So the, the longest wavelength, the longest wavelength will correspond to this case here. Okay? That's the longest. Okay. So the, next, let me write down. The longest wavelength, another again, Important concept is that is is uh, it's 2L lambda equal to L. Okay, that's the longest wavelength. It's 2L from here. Lambda is 2L. That's the longest wavelength, and that's the lowest resonant frequency. This is also the lowest resonant frequency. Okay, because the frequency and the wavelength are inversely proportional. One of them increases, the other one decreases. Okay, that's the lowest. So, the longest wavelength will be 2L, okay? Now, but he wants the frequency, he doesn't want the, he doesn't want the longest wavelength, he wants he want the frequency. So, we're talking about F1, okay? So, here we're talking about F1. The longest wavelength corresponds to the lowest frequency, very important, okay? So, F1, which is V over 2L. Now, L is given to you, is 0.5 uh, meter, Okay, we have to change the meter. V, V, we go back to the old idea of tension over mu. Okay, not the speed of the wave. Okay, the tension is given to you is 18 Newton, and the mu you can get it from the mass uh, per unit length. Okay, so mu is m over l, which is point zero one divided by the length, which is point five here, and this will give you uh, a mu of uh, and the mu will be 0 0.02 kilogram, 0 0.02 kilogram per meter. Okay, so this is the mu. So V will be square root of what? A tension which is 18 a Newton over 0 0.02, and we take the square root to get the speed of the wave, which is 30 meter per second. So the speed of this wave, of the two waves interfering, or, yeah, is 30 meter per second. 
So I know the, the speed of the wave, I know the length of the string, I can find the frequency, the, the resonant frequency. How did I know I have to use F1? Because it, it, it's, it's telling you in the problem that we have, it gives you the longest, the longest, longest wavelength. Longest wavelength means the, uh, the, the, sh the, sh the smallest frequency, okay? Or the lowest frequency. So it will be 30 divided by uh, uh, 100, which is one meter, okay? One meter, okay? Then it will be 30 hertz. That's F1 in this problem. How about, what is the, the second resonant frequency? It will be 60, 60 hertz. 30 hertz, huh? 30. The second resonant frequency will be 60 hertz. The third resonant frequency will be 90 hertz, and so on. So every time you add, to go to the next higher frequency, you add, you add F1, you add the 30 hertz. I hope these uh, four examples uh, 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 illustrate the idea of the sending waves and give you an idea how to solve problems. Now, my son, you go and uh, by yourself and try, try to solve problems by yourself. Don't rely on, uh, on these videos or, uh, or, or, or on, on the lecture or on the recitation. You have to go by yourself and start sol solving uh, all the exams and start solving end of chapter problems. Thank you very much.